What's going on gamers? It's a new man with game one and today we'll be looking at the new god Osiris in Smite. Let's play. So we got Hercules, Kali, uh, Thor, Don Quay, and X. Really just like X, but uh, <laughs> I hate that guy. So Osiris, um, Osiris is kind of, it's a tough character. So uh, a lot of people has been having trouble with him or uh, doing okay with him. They just dislike the type of God he is right now in his current form. He's supposed to be a warrior. He has one of the lowest starting healths in the game. There's some ADCs that started with a, a greater health than he is. Um, but at the same time, I think it might be the new direction where, uh, where um, high res is going i promise i'll do less talking but uh their latest crop of warriors uh nemesis before that the re uh look at sun wukong and tier they're pretty self-sufficient and very versatile to fill a number of roles uh almost where uh as far as the meta goes it's like what is the role of the warrior they do uh well especially in conquest and uh, different things that uh other gods supposedly specialize in they do very well as guardians. Uh, they also do well as junglers. So it left a lot of the assassins and the guardians, excuse me, tanks. Uh, just kind of, they just took over the meta for a while. It just made better sense to have a character that has pop-up, stun, great health, can build damage or tank, and uh, still do well. So I've been playing this game for a while. Um, probably about six, seven months. Um, played a lot of ranked matches, level 30 have about over 20 gods mastered and um, I'm pushing to get that uh, level 30 or excuse me not level 30 all 30 gods mastered 30 plus gods but they keep releasing new ones but uh yeah one thing I noticed though at the smite launch party had a great time there uh, a lot of the games was warriors filling the roles of junglers and tanks so I think uh, high res had to take another look at you know the role of the warrior when they're gonna go and uh, I think Osiris is kind of the test uh, platform for where they want or where warriors will fit into this meta or where it will fit into the game. So yeah, Osiris. So um, he's, uh, he starts off very squishy. Um, like he said, low health. He has the same base protections as Tyr, but significantly less health. And uh, also just not a lot of damage. He scales pretty well. Uh, probably one of the best. Oh, back up. I'm scared him away. Uh, it's number three. So uh, key point. Sorry, I'm jumping around I'm trying to focus. But uh, his number three, and you all can find out uh, the, the different skills. His number three, the damage mitigation, and then followed by the stun. I think it's uh, something new to the meta as well. So for this warrior, he's definitely not a be all can do all type warrior. Um, he seems to have the ability to stun like a lot of the other warriors, but it's conditional. So yes, if you're within that, keep him locked in within vicinity and then able to hit him down, then you'll stun. But again, like I just lost this guy just now, uh, it's conditional. It's just not automatic like a lot of the guys are to pop up or to stun just because of the stun. Ran, there you go, ran him down. So back to his three. His three uh, is damage mitigation. And we typically type to think of it as just being for uh, uh, for damage, but it's for abilities too. Like, wow, yeah, see right there? <laughs> Artemis survived that Hercules boulders because I had him ensnared and uh, reduces the damage mitigation by a lot. So uh, he's definitely built for team play, not for solo or being able to solo for a long time. Uh, when playing Osiris, you have to be cognizant of positioning positioning is very important with this god if you're out of position like i was earlier it's a uh, you're you're just going to go down um so you almost have to play job oh, out of position oh oh yep yep that's perfect now that, uh, that we're recording a video do not do that as a cyrus be mindful of your positioning so we talked about his low health uh you've seen he doesn't do much damage output you saw how I, out of position it can really hurt uh, we talked about his three, how it doesn't just affect swinging or uh, weapon damage, it's ability damage as well. So Alquan, 
uh, as you saw Hercules even Callie's ultimate if you have her ensnared or you have any of those gods ensnared you're reducing their weapon damage as well as their ability damage well Cyrus is a skill based god so you really need another aim to get the full usage potential out of the character um, and also again positioning is key when to capitalize off the enemy's mistakes so let's talk about builds speed and health tends to be the staple of the character I'm still learning um, character again is eight days out he doesn't last long and uh, when playing him you're going to need to have items that give you health good staple items bulwark mid guardian male Aussie uh, keen size always a good thing I think right now though based upon I'm feeling slow yeah looking at Thor Thor built witchblade our tank isn't so I'm opt out for that counter building is always important I'm opt out for that and buy witchblade myself again he seems to be a mid game type of god I've been trying different builds to get him uh, viable sooner, but again, he seems to start out, oh, just took that boulder to the face. He seems to start getting strong mid game and he really, really takes off the end game as uh, we're starting right now to get into that. But uh, he is a good guy. You're seeing now King Size along with Asi coming into effect. You're also seeing the mitigation. I'm surviving that despite my health. You see, I don't even have any physical defensive items yet right now. So he is, once you get used to the type of character he is, a good character. Again, it's about a positioning and a timing when to use your number three, that mitigation to take away a lot of that damage that's coming forth. Uh, you see his base protections though, doing really, 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 really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some physical defense though and try to slow them down. Our, uh, that Cali and that Thor over there seem to be tearing our team apart right now. Know what's been happening is that uh, they've been eating up our minions and letting them go through our portal. So I feel like I'm the guy that's doing it right now. So I'm trying to watch both and be a good teammate and ensuring I'm getting in this team battle. I don't know what that Cali's doing. Uh, <laughs> that just seems like a waste of an alt. But uh, hey, to each their own, right? So as far as your actives, uh, I want to touch on that. Uh, I, uh, beads is always a good staple for me. Uh, secondary, um, uh, speed boots. Some people may have to do combat blink. I think that depends on the situation. I like the refresh weighted the boots. Uh, you definitely want to make sure though you have items to get you out of dodge when needed to be um, because those <laughs> he's uh that health not even squishy you can't even say squishy he has good defense but um, he just doesn't have that health to, to stay in long he's meant to go in to cause issues and to get out I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the game uh, try to sit we're getting close to the wire right now and uh, I want to make sure uh, <laughs> I'm a, I'm an asset to the team Thor's up. Anytime Thor comes up, you know he's coming down on somebody. So again, pay attention to the positioning and uh, watch how I'm using the, the damage reduction of him uh, to try to help out the team.
so spirit form uh things i have ran through wild spirit form i ran through mirror's wall i ran through uh bakasaur's little minions that get in the way and slow you down while they're chomping on you <laughs> ran through um new Wa's stone guards so uh you know normally she uses that as a blocker uh, ran right through them just kind of tore her up tore her apart and there's really nothing she can do because of um because again that spirit form so there's a lot of good benefits with that Look like we're gonna end this one pretty strong. So, uh, um, what do you think about Osiris? Um, I'm feeling confident, so I'm talking right now. Uh, what do you, what builds do you have? Um, check out my build. You'll see it at the end. Uh, if you can, uh, what do you think would be good ways to speed him up? Obviously, I think the devs are gonna give him a, a health boost. Uh, do you think he is okay in his current form? Um, let me know. Uh, right now, it, uh, you all in place might know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's almost like you're guaranteed to be yelled at if you choose him in Conquest. Except for any other position um, outside of uh, Jungler. Jungler seems to be where people think it belongs. I uh, try to pick him as a, as a Guardian. Um, did okay. Didn't do as well. Still trying to figure him out. Uh, let me know where you think his niche lies in. I don't know. I think Osiris uh, should be measured by his assists as well, not kills. Um, I've been doing really well with Osiris. I ranked up one already. Uh, I tend to have a lot of assists just for me not being able to finish them off. Uh, you see the build let me know what you think what can be done better what items would you swap out and uh, if you like what you saw please subscribe